All hell next gen. <laughs> what the fuck? We're not even... We're not even a minute in. That's that's one way to intro your fucking album. Hold on, let him cook. Okay, this song is kind of fucking right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fucking it up. I'm just really hoping it's not an hour and 11 minutes of just this. <laughs> is Gary Russell on it? And Marcus Bridge? And Michael Barr? Hold on, chat. There's a fire-ass features on this. What the fuck is any of this, bro? Some of these sounds on these songs. I think this is a playlist for me. <laughs> Darko is the definition of over the top. It's like... Wh Why do they do things that they do? You know? Who knows? Yeah, I'm fucking Darko. Oh, I'm fucking... Boss of Darko. You ain't fucking shit, bro. <laughs> All they have is just bow wow, wow, they don't wow, bow, they don't wow. <laughs> Same energy. Oh my god, Darko Mosh Pit. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? That Zelly feature was f off the fucking wall, man. Fuck it up. <laughs> Fuck it up! That should be a sound bite. Gent? They should just make an album like this and I would listen to it every day. I'll be honest. This is my favorite type of Darko music. Fuck it up. Oh! That's such a Darko-ass sound. It's, it's like... It's their signature at this point. Yeah, that was sick. That was a sick song. I forgot this song. What the fuck? That's my reaction to most darker music, to be honest. What the fuck? Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Bog the noises. Yeah, yeah, that's me for the majority of this album, to be honest. Because objectively, for like half this shit, I don't know how to react. I'll be honest. This 
This feels very J core. <laughs> Why is Tom Barber barking in my Spotify? This is, this is a fever dream, man. Also, Garrett went so fucking low in, in that feature. I don't think I've ever heard him growl that low in Silent Planet. This is such an obnoxious sound. Like, you have to be so into it to enjoy it. And ironically, this, this is great. We've just sat through fucking six songs of whatever the fuck this was. This is a good palate cleanser. Which makes me a little bit scared, chat, because usually bands put chill songs before some some absolutely fucked shit. Okay, this song is fucking losing me. What the f- What is going on? I would much rather listen to this than whatever the fuck was before this. <laughs> Isn't this Tom Barber singing as well? He's got a surprisingly chill voice. You know? Dude, Marcus Bridge, I'm sorry again for just glazing that man, but one of the best vocalists. Period. He does this shit live. That was a switch up. One of the switch ups. We are indeed in the latter half of Silence. Okay. <laughs> okay, fucking Paul Atreides. I mean, this song is called Pleasures. Crazy shit. Crazy shit. That's some crazy shit, bro. That is some crazy shit, chat. Fire. That vocal sample there is actually really good I'm s I've never been this confused listening to music I feel like I'm stupid what do I think of this album?
I couldn't tell you, man. I... Like, it has... It has... <laughs> it has a vibe to it, you know? It's a typical darker experience where you don't know whether you like it or not, because it's just so fucking over-the-top confusing. Fucked. Shit. <laughs> there are some songs on this that I genuinely like, though. This man is not human. Oh yeah, listen to Sign of Swarms. Signs of Swarms last album. That is, he, the man is in fact not a human. That's pretty cool. That lead. Oh my god, that shit was hard. That was actually the strongest breakdown of the album. God damn. Oh yeah. See, I can- I can fuck with this. Yeah, self-title did have Donna. It also had, um... Daniel. All right, track number 15. Crazy, crazy feature. This fits the Darko vibe so well. Okay, this song is actually kind of good. I, I would say that the album lost me a little here in the middle, but this woke me up a little. Not gonna lie. Huh? <laughs> that, that, that's so... This is one- this is one confusing work of art. They cooked with this intro. They cooked. This is- this was one of my favorite singles, I think, because... It's much more structured than your regular Darko song. It's much more focused. Absolutely, what the fuck is that? That, like, made my bowels move. <laughs> this song is so fucked! It's so fucked! But I do, I do enjoy when every once in a while they write a song like this. Less chaotic, without losing the essence of this sound. The one I could actually enjoy from start to finish, and, uh, yeah. Damn, this song, honestly, just... It needs a specific mood, because it's so, like... Sad, you know? Make it or break it, let's see the closer of this album. Ugh, the French. I was chilling! I was being chilling, what is this?
ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fucking Starfire by Dark US. 19 tracks, an hour and 11 minutes long. What the fuck was that? I, I know that opinions differ. In the chat especially. I know that some people in the chat really love this. Some people in the chat really hate this. Darko has always been very polarizing. That's kind of like just their thing. Because of how insane and weird and chaotic and strange this sound is. I will say though, while I do respect it, I just think like this album, in my personal opinion, again, TikTok brain. It didn't need to be an hour and 11 minutes. You know what I mean? It was just so long. <laughs> it was very long. And a lot of these songs in the middle just got lost for me a little bit. They got lost. Maybe it's a first listen. I really enjoyed the first half of this album, as you can see. I, I enjoyed these tracks up until Crybaby kind of split the album. And then ever since Crybaby, it failed to really do much for me until like virtual function, I would say. I mean, Sora with Marcus Bridge was fine, but it was just kind of like one of those chiller tracks that you don't come back to too often. It's a very strange piece of work. It's a very strange piece of work. It has some memorable moments, but it's it's a Darko album. It's a Darko album. And, and that's I feel like that's the best way to describe it. Like people immediately know what that means. I'm glad we at least checked it out. I'm, I'm glad we at least gave it a chance. My favorite Darko album still remains the self-title from 2021. This song is the song uh, song. This album was great. Eight out of 10. Done and dusted. See you in the next one. See you in the next one.